Scott here. I want to talk with you guys today about a few reasons why you want to join a networking group. One of the main reasons you want to join a networking group is to talk with other decision makers that are in your area, that you will be in a natural market to uh, give referrals and you will eventually receive referrals after people become to know, like, and trust you. Know, like, and trust are the three fundamentals of uh, networking. If you join uh, groups like uh, BMI, the Rotary Club, the Freemasons, or uh, a church group or a business group after hours, um, those are great groups to join. Typically, once you join a group like the BNI, uh, you will find that there's only one person for that particular seat in that specific uh, market area. So one uh, property and casualty insurance agent, one uh, life and health insurance agent, one financial planner, one CPA, one lawyer, uh, one realtor in commercial real estate, one a realtor in residential real estate, uh, a lawn guy, a dry clean uh, company, uh, just to name a few. So once you're uh, looking to join a group, there's certain things that you want to think about. Are these people going to become your friends when you're networking? Um, are they going to grow on you? Do you work well with them? Uh, do they have a record? Have they traded a lot of business? Are they a new group that just got started in the past six months? Or is it a well-known group that other business people want to come to the meetings and uh, tr uh, do business with everybody there? Um, are they full-time in the business or are they part-time? Um, if you're new in your uh, career or profession, or new in the business, uh, is your business just a new startup? Uh, things to think about is how can you pass business to the other people looking for referrals? Sometimes you just got to be honest with the other person and uh, let them know that you're not going to be able to pass them business. It's going to be once in a great while that you're going to be able to pass business to them. Uh, one way to let a particular person know after you join a group is doing a one-on-one, -on -one, meaning that you meet for uh, a lunch or dinner or breakfast or even coffee at some specific time that you both arrange and just talk about each other's business or professional careers and how you can serve them, how, how you're going to be able to pass business onto their um, particular profession and uh, let them know how along the pipeline of their sales process you're going to be able to help them. I tend to uh, reach out to uh, people that are a natural fit for me. I let them know that how and why I can help them. Um, I give them a, a worksheet to say, hey, this is a good referral for me. This is what I'm looking for. And hopefully they're a professional person on the same level and they will return the favor. If not, I might bring a worksheet that I already have and ask them to fill it out so I know that they have an idea of how to pass or refer business to my line of work. Um, in the past, I've uh, led groups. I have developed groups of uh, business to uh, customer relations. So business to customer clients. Uh, I really don't do business to business as much as uh, B2C. Um, we grow our business one client at a time, one uh, property management company at a time. Um, since I'm in the lawn care business, I mainly focus on the lawn care and how I can help realtors, uh, property and casualty agents, title companies, mortgage companies, um, 
especially realtors that I've known for a long time, I will refer them business if they're in my group. If if I uh, tend to find that there's not a uh, seat filled in a specific uh, field in the networking group, I will go outside and I will pass a referral to three professionally well-known people in that line of work that I know um, that will respond to that client right away with a fast and friendly quote and hoping that they will fill that customer's needs. Um, let's say, for example, I don't do tree trimming. So I'm going to let another um, company that specializes in uh, tree trimming that's a licensed arborist. And hopefully they have an A rating with the Better Business Bureau and pass them the business so my customer knows that, hey, you know, I'm, I've asked if he knows a, a tree expert and I, I pass that information on to them and they're, they can expect a call from so-and-so. That's another way um, about when you join a networking group, you, you got to know uh, people. You should have like a Rolodex of contacts to pass along. Okay, Joe is looking for XYZ company in this line of profession. And uh, do we have someone in the Rolodex? Um, and people are going to pass business back to you. They're going to remember that you, you refer business to them. And it's always good to know other people, go to networking groups. Uh, sometimes there's networking groups that don't have a specific a chair that's going to need to be filled, like the chamber. There's going to be maybe anywhere from uh, 20 to 200 people at a meeting. Uh, your goal in a situation at a chamber meeting is not to pass your business card out to everyone there. It is to find three or four people that you can make a connection with briefly and set up a one-on-one -on -one for, you know, talk about your business, your uh, line of profession, and uh, get some new business, get a new uh, referral, a source of referrals. Um, you don't always just want to be uh, relying on one or two ways of marketing. Networking is one way of marketing and filling your pipeline. Word of mouth sales is uh, priceless because you can get your clients that already exist to refer business to you. They're gonna, might try a new company, but if you have the highest level of quality and integrity, they're gonna always come back to you because you provided the service beyond a level of professionalism that other companies are willing to do. Um, some people are only willing to put in part-time work where others are uh, full-time work, and if they have a well-established business, may have um, a number of people working for them, out providing the service themselves, and the owner might be the um, salesperson uh, getting the new business, or they might even have a sales team. So, a well-known company um, like a uh, Scotts Lawn Care, they have probably hundreds of different uh, service techs throughout the, the local area, providing services on a high level of quality for uh, fertilizer and pest control, just to name a company. Um, but most of us are gonna be the entry level or one um, self-employed individuals that are looking to grow our business through networking. And if you have any questions or comments, list them down below. And I want to thank you for your time for listening to my uh, speech here. And uh, follow us here on uh, YouTube. Subscribe and give us the big thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks again.